As 2021 comes to a close, I want to give you a quick update on the housing market that would be useful but respectful of your time. The end of the year always equates to busyness. And keep in mind that we always review the previous month's statistics, so this month we're reviewing what happened in November. For those of you that are watching the market update this time of year, um, this market update pr uh, promises to be informative but brief and to the point. So if you're looking for a summary of 2021, the real estate statistics, be sure to check out our housing market report next month. The average amount of days a home was available on the market fell from 22 days last year to just 16 days in November, shortening a buyer's chance to bid for a house almost by a week. The amount of homes that was actually that actually closed in November 2021 was slightly off pace from last year at this time, down 4%. The amount of new listings and pending listings was actually up. Both of those were up 2% this year compared to last year, indicating more new homes becoming available and more sales going into December. Now regarding inventory, we saw one less week of available homes for sale. Last year at this time, things felt tight but we had about three weeks of inventory compared to just two weeks of the inventory this November. Of course, the one thing everyone wants to know is how robust the, is the increase in average home prices. If you owned a home this time last year, that home is worth likely worth about 15% more than it was a year ago. In November of 20, the average home price was $545,000. Today, in November of 2021, that home is likely worth $628,000. With one month remaining in 2021, the Denver Metro housing market is on pace to have a record-breaking year, in both in terms of closings and prices. New listings are struggling to keep demand with, um, pace with demand, and as a result, available inventories uh, have, have fallen to record low levels. As I just shared, the average closed price for a home has now eclipsed the $600,000 mark, with the average price of a single family residence 18% higher than we saw this time last year. Buyers remain eager to purchase homes due in part to low mortgage interest rates and are taking homes off the market at an average of just 14 days. As we've said before, we're still at an opportune time in the history of real estate, but it isn't going to last forever. Don't miss your opportunity to sell while you've got record high prices and low interest rates remaining favorable for home buyers. This could be the best time to take action on your plans. Everyone's situation is unique, we do understand that. So please give us a call to discuss how this current real estate market impacts you. We would love to hear from you. still here it's over go home